We are back with some more Fable 3. I changed my image a little bit. I decided I needed a kingly beard. So now I've got one of those. Sure you can, kid! How? How? Is there an autograph button? Autograph! It's not voice activated either. Alright, so I've been uh, off camera. I've been buying up a lot of property. I have since uh, reduced rent. I can't believe I was putting rent to the highest. I, I was putting up... Oh, dang it. I was putting high rent to like the lowest or the poorest parts of town <laughs> and uh, yeah I fixed that <laughs> everything's at normal rent now I bought a bunch more properties I have a couple more shops I think I have a bar and I'm getting about I would say 15,000 gold every five minutes which is still not great but uh, I haven't done any loot playing so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do some loot playing after I finish recording here um, and do some more of that and then buy up all kinds of property and then do some quests and get some more cash But for now, we're gonna meet our friend here it's Press and hold. Not every day a king walks into the rebel headquarters. Good Kid went undercover with a gang of robbers and found out their plans. They're going to strike the tavern in Bowerstone Market If you get there in time, you can stop the raid and at least one of those thugs must know where Ferret is holed up Bowerstone Market, huh? Stop the robbery in Bowerstone Market Pub. Okay. I think I might even own that. I'm protecting my own property here, which is great. It's fantastic. Oh, you know what I should do, actually? Is uh, upgrade some skills. I have a bunch of points. A bunch of guild seals, not points. So I'm going to do that. Okay. Come on. Let me, let me add them. What we got here? Become a master of guns. Yes. I likes guns. And guns likes me. <laughs> I have 68 left. Oh man, it's gonna it's gonna look even more awesome now. Oh. Look at that, that's impressive. Oh no 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 no, I can't, I can't, no no. I accidentally did that. That's 180 and this is 280, a master of magic. All right, so I have 68 guild seals now. Gonna save those up for a rainy day. Let's go and finish this quest. Ow, bright screen. Hurts my eyeballs. I gotta stop this robbery. You know, I never block. I feel like you can just dodge. It's a lot easier than blocking. Am I wrong about that? Is blocking a good idea? Oh, what was that noise? I think that was my dog. Come on, dog. Furthest handhold. 223. Suck it, Doc M. <laughs> I beat him in the handholding contest. Yeah, I look great now. I look much, much less royal. I kind of looked like a douche before with that crown and stuff and the cape. Come on. Who wears capes? Only Costanza's father's lawyer. Horse capes. That's a Seinfeld reference. I'm sure none of you will. Well, some of you will get it. I'm sure. Can I? Can I open this? I sure can. Hey, kid. Nice hat. This is this is the. This is my bar. Wait. No, this is not it. Anybody got any gifts for me? Oh, you do. George the worker. Can I? Thank you. Hello, your majesty. Hello. <gasps> you got a gift too. I will take all your gifts. Why, hello, your majesty. majesty. Man, some of these people are giving me gifts in like hundreds of gold and they're in the poor area. What's up with that? Day, I'm good. How do you guys like my beard? Huh, people? I own that little stand too. I own a lot of things here in Bowerstone. Including maybe this pub. Maybe not. Oh, this is the one I couldn't buy because it's way too expensive. But I will own it. Perhaps if I save it from imminent danger, they'll just give it to me, right? That's what I would do. Yeah, I own all these houses. Good, good. I've been repairing them too, by the way, so that I am I'm, I'm actually receiving rent from them and not no rent. In fact, how's this? How's the condition on this place? Just double check. 90%. Still good. Still good. 
Is there a way to go through and repair all your houses without having to travel to each and every one? It'd be really cool if that existed. Right, where are we at? This is the place, huh? Going in this place. Look at that. If you cooperate, twelve thousand, I think. You won't get hurt. Oh. If you give us any trouble, we'll kill you. Now, just so you know, we mean business. I'd like one of you to give us trouble, so we can kill him as an example to the rest. Who's it going to be then? Wow. Oh look, we have a volunteer. Who? The king, no less. Oh. Have at him, fellas. We've never. I'm a master with the gun now. This should be easy. Er. Look at that guy. He's not even. Ha ha ha! Suck it. Wow. The gun is awesome now. <laughs> it is no longer advantageous for any of us to frequent the hideout in industrial. Presently, I shall inaugurate a new center of operations in Bowerstone Market. You've been provided with a key which will permit access. Please endeavor to prevent its transference to an unauthorized individual. Hey there, your majesty. Hey there, I shall enter this secret place. Oh, hey wife, how you doing? She is really happy to see me. And I'd say that even if you weren't on the throne. Gifts? Gifts? I'm always willing to get some gifts from people. Where is this place that I'm going? Greetings, sir. Is it through here? Perhaps. Yep, this is the place. Oh, I passed by this door too, and I was wondering about it. STDs. <laughs> I, that's that's one competition I don't want to win. Uh, all right, let's go in here. Hey guys. You again. It does tend to obviate the entire objective of maintaining a secret hideout if your enemies can simply infiltrate whenever they've the inclination. Lads, perform the specific services for which I employ you expeditiously. Huh? Kill him. No such services Lost. will be employed. Thrown. Oh. Oh. Just gonna keep doing this. So far, so good. No. No. Oh, there's a guy there still. There we go. He's been taken care of. Oh, I love this gun. I have four health potions, too. I didn't even use one of them. Uh, you are injured. No, no, no. I'm not injured. I'm fine. Can I open this door? Oh. Door's locked. Okay. <laughs> Let me in. I'm the king, damn it. What? Oh. All these guys are sleeping. Oh, that's adorable. Sorry, guys. Time to wake up to death. In a world where enemies are sleeping when you walk in. This feels like I can pick this up here. Come on. No, I can't. Are you sure I can't, game? Game, are you sure? I knew it. You're a ruthless crook and a big booby as well. And since you are a ruthless crook, I'm not signing this letter so that I can remain anonymous. <laughs> Yours, Arthur. <laughs> Yours, Arthur. Hey, guy, how you doing? Can I free you? Are you still a ruthless crook? Are you Bob? Who? Who said that? Oh, hey guys. Execution. 
think you're winning. But I got one luck. Nobody in here? Oh, oh, somebody was in here. Not anymore. The dog is so mad. Oh, gotta hold it this time. This uh, is so silly. I believe I can state with relative confidence that your efforts are in vain. Even should it transpire that you vanquish my associates, this door is completely impenetrable. I can in addition to which, this cell contains a secret egress through which I may abscond whenever I desire. <laughs> Meanwhile, my compatriots shall brutalize your person. Um, you know what? Can't I just like shoot through the the bars? The bars it's not exactly a solid wall. How about a little sword action? Ooh. Ah, I'm on fire. Oh, I'm on fire. One down, one to go. Ouch! Finally. Oh, the dog found treasure, apparently, in, this, in the midst of that battle. Captured Nigel Ferret. You haven't lost your touch. I'm surprised his men were foolish enough to fight you. Now, truth be told, my superlative intellect notwithstanding, it would appear this is not, in fact, the specific cell I so confidently <laughs> referenced earlier. The one with the secret exit has two beds. All right, you have prevailed, your majesty. I concede. However, I entreat you to entertain a certain proposal. Oh, here we go. have nothing to offer, Ferret. It's over. Ah, that pronouncement is objectively devoid of merit. I happen to have on my person a substantial quantity of currency. How much are we talking? Let me go free. A hundred thousand. Money is yours. Whatever, dude. If it was a million, I might have considered it. royal miscreant. This grievous malefaction shall be rewarded with equally grievous retribution. Done. Fifty more guild seals. Seals? Seals? I think I said seals. Seals. As in the water-dwelling, cute, puppy-looking things. Oh, I'm back here? I'm sorry to say we are falling well short of expectations. The treasury holds nowhere near enough gold. Don't you worry about the, the gold. The kingdom demands your attention once more. The time has come to make a decision on Albion's drinking law. Oh, okay. Under Logan's rule, our citizens are restricted in the amount of alcohol they can purchase per day. As you can imagine, this has proved a rather unpopular measure. Hmm. And yet many respected members of the community think the law does not go far enough. They would like alcohol consumption wholly abolished among the commoners. They feel, rather reasonably, that it leads to improper behavior and raucous public spectacles. These concerned nobles are willing to pay handsomely for the change in policy. Meanwhile, the commoners themselves would like the restrictions completely lifted, claiming they infringe upon their freedom and their rights. You cannot please everyone, your majesty, but you must make a decision. I'll decide. Let's see. Outlaw alcohol, remove drink limit, keep drink limit. Hmm. I don't want to outlaw alcohol because I want to buy a bar and reap the rewards of selling these drinks. Remove the drinking limit. I don't think that... Well, no, I'm just going to keep it. Just keep it. Keep it how it is. Very good. 
Perhaps this is not the time to be implementing radical new right. measures. Right. I agree. It will give both the gentry and the rabble something to complain about. Who knows? It may take their minds off their impending doom. <laughs> Let us move on to other matters, Oh, Your man. You have a busy day in the throne room ahead. I do. Rule on the possible reopening of Brightwall Academy. Consider proposal to drain Bower Lake. Meet with a concerned and wealthy citizen. Oh, boy. Samuel, the head of the Brightwall Academy, is ready to plead his case. I sincerely what is on my hope face? he is master a handout, though I'm sure Master Reaver will be the voice of reason, as always. There's like a fleshy growth on my cheek. I should get that checked out. Is there a town doctor? Look at all that money. 16,000 okay. gold I just made. Your Majesty. Hey guys, I'm here to decide on things. This is very exciting. Today you decide on the status of the Brightwall Academy, Your Majesty. Samuel will speak for the town and its scholars. Reva will dispute his cause. Oh gosh, I'm gonna spend you more money, speak. ain't I? See, look at that little weird texture thingy. <clears throat> your Majesty, it was your father who opened the doors to Albion's greatest seat of learning. Under his rule, knowledge and culture flourished, and so did the people of Brightwall. I ask only that you return to the wisdom of those days. Your brother closed the academy down, but it is in your hands to restore it. Of course I'm going to restore it. Listen. There is no oh, greater proposal okay, dude, asked. you know what? I'm not going to waste my time with you. I'm not going to listen to you. The Academy will be open to all who wish to learn. It'll be open. The Brightwall Academy shall be reopened, and Albion will once again have a free center of learning. <laughs> Listen, if these people, if these people are all going to die in like 290 days, you might as well give them what they want before they die. Very well, I will make the arrangements at once. Here we go. Consider proposal to drain Bower Lake. What is, what are the benefits of draining the lake? Stimulate your intellect in the newly reopened Brightwall Academy. Suckle the knowledge from the land's greatest minds I and laugh avail at the word yourself suckle. of the best library ever assembled. Everyone, from the most impoverished genius to, to the, the wealthiest, wealthiest idiot. idiot, is welcome. Oh my gosh. Brightwall Academy. Whatever you earn, it's the place to learn. That's a good slogan, actually. Whatever you earn... It's the place to learn. Court summons, page oh, here we go Reaver. again. I am not siding with Reaver. Before you today is the future of Bower Lake. Reaver will offer his proposal. Page will stand against him. You may speak. Your Majesty, a recent survey of Ooh. Bower Lake has found that the waterbed is rich in valuable metals. Dang. Now, as amusing as it would be to make workers hold their breath as they mine the resources. I fear it would be impractical. Hmm. Instead, hmm. we have no choice but to dam the river and, and drain the lake of all water. That's ridiculous. All you know what? I'm rejecting your proposal. I don't want to hear it. Page is right. I have I've, I've loots to play. We must protect our natural resources. Bower Lake is to be left untouched. The king has ruled. Yep. Bower Lake's here's here's what I want to know. Why does it cost me 50,000 gold to Thank you. Just leave the, the lake as it is. is worth defending. Is a pretty view worth more than a treasury full of gold? I bow to your greater wisdom. You should, guy. Stop second guessing me. As someone whose home has overlooked the resplendent Bower Lake. I am pleased to declare the official protection of this natural wonder. It's beautiful. Let's water drown anyone who doesn't appreciate its beauty. <laughs> this guy's funny. I like this guy. I am in a hole. I trust the court was not too dull today. Pretty dull. In any case, I'm confident your final task will be most enjoyable. I gotta meet with a wealthy a citizen, wealthy huh? member of our community has offered to make a sizable donation to our treasure. In return for our what? only request is that you go to Millfields to make the collection in person. 
a perfect chance to stretch your legs, your majesty. Let me out. Meet the wealthy patron in Millfields. I will do such things. My love is in Bowerstone. Bowerstone Market. Uh, let's travel here. Yes. We shall travel to Millfields. I, it, oh, man. It's totally going to make me do something against my moral code. Uh, why is... I'm not sure why every once in a while it gives me the heart. Am I supposed to go home and, like, talk to the wife or something? Is she upset? Is it the beard? I bet she doesn't like the beard. Especially since I have a fleshy growth on that side of the... What is up with that, man? <laughs> Where is this wealthy person I need to meet? Hello? Wealth? Where are you? This thing looks like it's glowing. That's weird. Hello? <laughs> this is a very uneventful journey. <laughs> ah, here we go. Here we go. That's a beautiful lake. How do you want to drain that? You're crazy, man. Reaver, you are crazy. Uh. Hello. Wealthy person. You look pretty wealthy. Are you the person? No. Well, look at that. $16,000. Not bad. Not dollars, but... Gold. Gold. Wait, what's up here? How are you guys doing? Everything all right, your majesty? Yeah, is everything all right Please over here? allow me to introduce myself. My name is Griffith Smith. Okay. I'm the president of the Albion Historical Restoration Society. Uh -huh. Before you once stood a bridge to the site of the old gypsy camp where our late monarch was raised many years ago. Oh, Alas, the my bridge dad. has fallen into disrepair, and this historical site of interest will soon be forgotten. Okay. Perhaps I can persuade you to make a donation to keep this place of such historical significance alive. What would you do? All right, fine. Whatever. Just do it. I got five guild seals for it. Suck it. Another victory for the Albion Historical Restoration Society. Come back later on once the bridge has been built. Cool. I can go over that, that place once the bridge has been built. I'm excited about that. Out of the way, kid. Aha, here we go. Oh, boy. Look, what does she I want me to do? I know where the thief is. He fled into the woods. Madam, I understand you want to recover what you've lost, but those woods are simply too dangerous. It would be suicide to enter them without combat experience, or training, or skill. I don't want to enter them. I want you to. Right. I'll do it. I was talking about me. Oh, just forget it. Ah, oh, Your Majesty, it's such an honor to have you here. If only fate hadn't conspired to make me look like a fool. Beware the woods, your majesty. Okay. The soldiers may be superstitious, but there's no denying dangerous beasts lurk within. Dangerous beasts. Good luck. I know you will succeed. Not a problem, lady. 